Håkan Norling. Uh, I'm come from Sweden. I live in Stockholm. Uh, I've been fishing all my life, more or less. My uh, four parents, they were fishermen. I come from a, a fisherman and a sailor family. Uh, I have always been interested in fishing, more or less. I don't remember when I caught my first fish. I fished a lot with my father, my grandfather. And uh, it's just been a part of my life. I started fly fishing when I was like 12, maybe. I bought my first fly rod. I never seen anyone use a fly rod. I didn't know anyone who had a fly rod, but I read some good books that winter, classical from Swedish authors like uh, Nis Fernström. And uh, I just wanted to do it. It's been, it's been a part of my life uh, for like ages. These days it's, you know, hunting for for big fish. I like big fish. Uh, I never understood why you should fool, fool around with small fish when you can get big ones. There's nothing that can beat the feeling when you feel that this is a big fish. You feel the first boom, boom, boom like that. Nothing beats that. So, uh, and it's also a matter of friendship having a lot of good friends, fishing with good friends. In my work, I talk about fishing every day and sometimes I get really sick of it. So it's good to be among friends and talk about other things as well, besides fishing. And uh, of course, when we go fishing, we cook and we make good food. So it's, um, it's a lot about friendship, the fishing, the river, uh, the salmons, I like the sound of water, running water, free-flowing free rivers, standing waist deep, good lie, good pool, making a good cast, make the fly swim, uh, and see the fish take or feel it take. Uh, nothing that beats that. It's been it's a constant development all the time. It's been like that for many, many years now. You have the gear, you have technology when it comes to lines, fly rods, uh, flies. I mean, it doesn't matter if you have a rod for like 10,000 euros and have traveled around the world. If you have the wrong kind of flies, you won't get any fish. The fish is only interested in one thing and that's the fly. Fly tying is like cooking. It's, uh, you have a lot of si similarity between how you create a recipe for a fly and a recipe for a dish. Because if you take this, you take that and put it together, then usually it becomes good. And if you have some dishes or flies with elements that you know they're really good, you mix them and then you have something new that could be even better. I met a lot of good people, good fishermen, a lot of the inspiration from older fishermen. Um, but you collect uh, experience and knowledge uh, over the years. So, uh, and it's, I really like to see the young kids when they come, you, particularly those, you can see they are burning. They have the interest, they just want to do it. And I recognize myself in these kids. And I've been fortunate to follow a few of them from the, you know, they're like that big until they're grown men. And uh, I think that's what creates really good fishermen. You never become old. So, um, and it's about, you know, making the sport grow. If you hold back, nothing will happen if you have something to share and if people are willing to listen uh, to what i'm saying then it's it's just it's just good